And I had never met him and he immediately asked me, well, what, what commission do you charge? Yeah. And over the phone. And so, you know, I told him I can't really tell him that over the phone. It's just like you're um, asking how much can I pay for a house if you haven't really seen the house. So we how much do you charge in commissions? What's it? What do you charge? Just out of curiosity, between me and you, what do you charge? I charge between two and a half and three for me, for, just for the buyer. Okay, why couldn't you have told him that on the phone? You just told well, it to me real easily. Okay, I've been told not to do that. Yeah, by an idiot. Here's why. They say, well, okay, that's too expensive. Hang on. Yeah, and that's fine. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's the way you say it. And by the way, I think the rate's closer to six because I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even do your split there. Because that's kind of borderline bait and switch. We both know it's two and three to you, and it's two and three to the buyer. And I know we got a lawsuit that's saying you don't have to pay the buyer. So when somebody says, what's your rate? I would say, just out of curiosity, when you say, what's my rate? Can you give me a specific example of, of why you're asking the question? And I'm not saying that to be evasive or obtuse. It's just, I've heard that before from some people that were misrepresented by other people and I want to make sure that on this call with me or whatever direction you go, you're getting the honest answer, right? Like, why did you lead with what your rate? Well, I want to pay the lowest rate and I don't want to give it. Totally get it. I would be the exact same way if I was in your case. The short answer to that question is I make two to three percent. now. Before you hang up, you're probably going to talk to some other people that might say a lower number, they might say a higher. In the people's defense that are saying higher, typically the, the rate paid is around 6%. The reason being, and I don't want to go through a bunch of stuff with real estate, but there's my commission and then there's the commission for the person that's bringing in the buyer. There has been some legislation that's allowing you to hold back that piece and say, I don't want to pay that. What I'm seeing with my research and my data is that is a, and I'm happy to support you, we can go any way on the deal, that is a complete recipe for disaster in selling your house because one of two or both of these things is going to happen. Number one, you're not going to get offers because you're not paying a commission. Number two, on the ones that you do get offers, we're going to have to be crystal clear that we're not paying that commission and that buyer's agent is going to take their pound of flesh times three, four, five, a factor of five, in terms of trying to negotiate a discount on the house because they have to now pay their commission. My recommendation to you, whether you go with me or somebody else, is to not only pay that commission, the industry standard is between two and 3% on both sides. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, what's your biggest reason for moving, right? Let's, let's hold the money off to the side here. What's your biggest reason for moving? Right. Okay, well, not make a big issue, obviously. it's not a big issue. No. That's where the people that I want to like smack them around a little bit. Now I'm going to get sued for threatening. I don't even know who the person is. I want to smack people around it. Teach other people. Oh, don't tell them that. Right. That's why sales get a bad name. That's why they freaking sued the National Association of Realtors in the first place. It's because of people like that telling awesome people like you don't say what your commission is. It's stupid. You're providing a service. Just give them the number. And for the ones that are like, okay, bye, thanks, that's too much, they were never gonna buy from you in the first place. They just, they just weren't. But you need to pivot off of the commission rate and onto what's your biggest reason for moving as quickly as possible. If you be evasive and say, I can't tell you my commission rate, they are in turn quid pro quo. They are going to not tell you anything about their situation. So you've right. just decided, you're the one that's decided, I can't work with you, bye, when you don't answer people's question, right? Thank it should you. be, Thank boom, you. yeah, there's my rate. And now the reason why I'm telling you this is, bop, 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 and then lean in and give them some information.